Welcome to this Saracoso tutorial on using the Library Catalog. The Library Catalog has 30,000 ebooks as well as 27,000 print books and audiovisual materials. The link to the catalog can be found on the navigation bar on the library webpage. On the catalog landing page, you'll see links to librarians and library resources, including a drop down menu that can take you directly to any database you choose. Searching the catalog is not like searching Google. For one thing, it isn't able to search the full text of every book we have sitting on the shelf. Instead, it searches what's called the bibliographic record, which usually includes the title, author, subject, and publication information, along with the table of contents and description when those are available. So let's say we're writing a paper on Shakespeare. When you start a search, you'll see a drop-down menu with suggestions and the choice of catalog or course reserves. Course reserves include textbooks and other research materials that instructors have put on reserve to be used only in the library. If you select course reserves, you can search by course name, instructor, or by the book information. For our purposes, though, let's search the library catalog. You can see that the search term is underlined. You can also see the library and the location. If it says available online, that means that this is an ebook. If it says circulating, that means that you can check out the item. And the call number in parentheses shows you where you can find it on the shelf. If it says other locations, that means that there is more than one copy. As you can see, Shakespeare is a pretty broad topic. It gives us over 600 results. So we can narrow our search down by changing the keywords to something more specific or by applying filters. The Refine Your Results search sidebar lets you apply these filters. So, for example, if you only want to see ebooks because you're writing this paper the night before it's due, you can select Available Online and then click Apply Filters. Creation Date is another good filter, depending on your subject. Literature, for example, doesn't go out of date very quickly. But if you're writing about science, medicine, or technology, you'll probably want to limit your search to books from at least the last five to ten years so that you only see the most current information. The downside is that you might also filter out older classics in your field that might be useful. So even with our filter, we still have a lot of results here, so we may want to do another search with more specific keywords. If we like our filters, we can lock them in using the little icon so that we don't have to select them again with every new keyword search. If you are signed in to the catalog, you also have the option of pinning individual titles. Click on the pin next to a title, and it will go to your favorites list up here at the top. If you're working on multiple research papers at once, it can come in handy to add labels to pins so that you have all of your resources carefully organized. You can also pin your search query so that you don't have to go through the trouble of trying to remember what keywords you use to find a particular set of books. Once you're done with the pin, you can remove it by clicking on the same icon. So let's say that we want to open an ebook. We can either click the screen available online link, or we can click on the record. So if you open the bibliographic record, you can see the title, the creator, the subjects, and description and contents if they're available. You can also see underlined is all of our search terms. If the record is an ebook, you can click the link under View Online to go to it. If you're off campus, you'll probably need to sign on with your college email and your password. So once you're on the ebook page, you can find various tools. For example, you can cite this ebook. You can use APA or MLA or any variety of these other citation formats. You'll want to be careful when you use these citations because they're not always accurate. They're automatically generated and they don't always follow the exact formatting rules. Other tools that we can use are printing, emailing, saving, exporting the citation of the ebook. But note that these don't send you the ebook itself. If you want to link to the ebook, you can click the permalink and use this URL. I would recommend not using the URL at the top of your screen because that's a session URL and it will become outdated as soon as you close your browser. 
to access an ebook, you can either click the full text link on the side column, or you can scroll down to the table of contents and jump straight to a chapter from there. If we don't have a title you're looking for, you can request it through Interlibrary Loan by clicking on the ILO link. We'll do our best to find a copy to lend to you for free. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact a librarian by email, request form, or chat. We look forward to helping you with all of your library research.